After spending a month in Da Nang, Vietnam, I've put together a comprehensive travel guide to ensure you have the most amazing experience during your visit. I'll cover everything from arrival to accommodation, transportation, activities, exploring, like day trips, where to eat, the best local food, and price expectation for everything in Da Nang. So you can get the SIM card here directly at the airport. So uh, one month. One month. One month we have enough for ten yen dollar. Oh, okay. It is such a good weather today, so I decided to like go to a cafe and work. I'm gonna take you guys to one of my favorite spot here in Da Nang. So I think because it's a rainy season here in Da Nang, you don't really see a lot of people. I was actually really surprised that the street was like pretty empty. can hear me but I'm in this famous Vietnamese restaurant here in Da Nang it's called Bap Chon. when I look out for like best Vietnamese restaurant this came up a lot because they have different type of like Vietnamese food here and this place is packed I didn't expect it to be this busy you just one piece of the rice paper just something you want some bad vegetables you take one piece of the pancake, we split in two already. Remember to put the kimchi on the top? Oh, okay. okay. In terms of accommodation, I recommend staying in Mike Beach area. Airbnb and Agoda offer numerous affordable options. Here you can find a luxury apartment with good decor and kitchen appliances. Everything's already provided for less than 400 bucks a month. We are in Bana Hill Sun World. This is, I think, the most popular place and things to do here in Da Nang. Um, it's currently 10 a.m. <laughs> We're kind of like, uh, we didn't come here in the morning. I know a lot of people said if you want to take a good peek at the Handbridge thing that's very famous here. Um, a lot of people recommend coming early in the morning around 7.30. So far it's like really huge. Um, fortunately the line doesn't look so bad. But I'm gonna show you guys around. This is the entrance. And from Danang City to Bana Hills, it takes around like 45 minutes. So this is where you can get the ticket. You can also book beforehand but we decided to get it here because the weather has been like on and off so yeah thank god like the weather is really good today it's sunny but here is the entrance fee for visitor this is how the ticket looks like we're gonna go in So is this the longest single track cable car in the whole entire world? I don't know if you can see, but it's starting to get misty here. So yeah. we've been here for I guess almost 10 minutes. It's really nice because the view was amazing you got to see like the nature um, there are several waterfalls yeah so to ride the alpine coaster you gotta pay an extra 70,000 Vietnamese dong per person All right, we got the wall ticket it's like the fast pass here um, so if you got that ticket you don't need to line up we got those ticket and now we're gonna ride the alpine coaster We're 
here. It's really misty out there though. We made it to the Golden Hen Bridge. There you can see the hen behind me. It's really misty right now, but honestly, it also kind of adds a special touch. Um, we're gonna explore the entire bridge and maybe wait a little bit for sunset, see if the fog's gonna blow um, out. And yeah, hopefully, we'll get a clearer view of the hen bridge. Another thing that you shouldn't miss in Da Nang is the Dragon Bridge. So every Saturday and Sunday at 9pm they have these fire shows at the bridge. We went there on the weekend and it was packed with people who was ready to watch the shows even in the middle of the rain and honestly it didn't disappoint. Now for all the girls, I believe Vietnam is the best place if you want to treat yourself for a massage, nail art or getting your eyelash done. I went to this massage place called Oani Spa which is very close from where I lived and the massage there was awesome. Just had one of the best massage here. About to get my extension done and oh my god the options they have here in Vietnam oh, it's overwhelming but yeah they have a lot of different types. did a really good job with the eyeless extension. Um, it's probably the best eyeless extension I've ever got. Right now I'm in the busy area of Danang. There's so many shops here, like a good shopping spot for sure. But I'm gonna get my nails done. Well, in Vietnam, right? So I found this one, it's called Suzy Nails. Um, it looks really nice in there, so let's check it out. I just want to quickly show you the result. I love it. So pretty. So I hope you guys enjoy following me around Da Nang, seeing what the city has to offer. I'm gonna share more about the cost of living in Da Nang in my next video. So make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys on my next one. Bye!